Heyo, my city skylines friends, Johnny Five Live here. We're back with another episode of Let's Play Cities. And in the last video, oh my god, things went crazy, and I was in a panic, and I was freaking out, going, "How am I going to fix this?" And honestly, it discouraged me from playing. And I, I sat down and I thought about it a little bit, and I tried fixing things. So, w w when the last time we did subscriber comments, guys, um, people were saying how one-way roads are terrible and they cause traffic and this and that um, so I reverted a lot of them so the only ones that we're keeping are the ones that are like take you to the island one way and take you from the island one way and it takes you all the way through here and yeah I, I essentially got rid of most of them and we're, we're testing things out. Like I said, this whole thing's been an experimentation and, uh, you know, learning. So, uh, this whole area was just a red line in the last episode. It was just all mucked up. And there was this traffic problem where it was backed up all the way to here. And <laughs> I ended up switching this into a highway lane instead of an off-ramp, which probably doesn't need to be that way now. Uh, I did that thinking... You know, the congestion problem was really up here. It didn't, this didn't need to be changed. And I, I, I learned a lot in between episodes. And I get that maybe, maybe that should have been an episode, me fixing all that. It took me about an hour. But here's the thing, guys. We're technically on a tight timeline to finish this city. I want to try and finish this city in 10 more episodes. That's the goal. Uh, Fortnite's coming out next Friday. And, um,. You know, I do two Planet Coaster videos a day, and these City Skylines videos have been taking up a lot of my free time on top of the contests. It's been really tough to try and keep up. It's been really tough. And for, there's no way I could do Cities, Planet Coaster, and Fortnite. So if I decide that I want to start mixing in Fortnite, um, we have to be finished our city. Now, I am having a lot of fun with this game, and I wouldn't mind revisiting it again in the future. So, uh, you know, it's, it's been a good process. So what I learned between episodes is you do not want um, crossroads at off-ramps. The crossroads here that was going all the way through was jamming it up. And now it seems to be pretty clear. It gets jammed up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Now, how I should technically do things, instead of them coming down into a crossroads, I should push the traffic out so let's pretend for a second this road is going along the side of this I should have an off-ramp coming out to here and then one coming in so the traffic could flow off and flow on instead of coming at it like a like a cross that's not good um, but what can you do I'm learning now the same problems happening over here and it's probably because of this whole shenanigans so, um, I guess we're going to have to fix it. Now, <laughs> it's better, but, so I added in this one-way circle loop. These seem to be awesome. So that's, that's a good use of the one-way road for the circles, because it forces everybody to go one way, and if they really want to go over here, they just, they just go all the way around the circle. So these little cul-de-sac things are great, and I've been finding that this little section's been helping um, again it's these the way I've been doing these off ramps so could, traffic's not the worst in this city um, could be better but for my first city it's not an absolute disaster and uh, I'm learning from it definitely learning from it and um, I don't know how to make this better <laughs> it's just it is what it is I suppose now this we're gonna have to fix for sure so I have two options is I can get rid of these crossroads here but we need them so I have to rethink the highway I think let's let's figure this out so I'm, I'm actually gonna delete this whole part we're not gonna let them get off there and we're gonna somehow mm, direct the traffic out. I think a cul-de-sac might be a good... Oh, crap. That's not a curve. Okay. How do we get it under? 
From here. No, under. There we go. Because this won't have intersections. It's impossible, right? Theory? Uh, uh, there. Aha! Now, I don't, I'm, this is just all theory crafting, guys. I don't know if it's going to work. Because they have to flow down. In, oh, come on. You son of a. Come on. Well, what if we just get it near? Okay, it maybe just needs to come from further back out. Ugh. You kidding me? What's the problem? What the problem is? Aha! So it comes down, flows the... Yeah, that's flowy. Nice and flowy. And then if they want to get on, they go up here. Oh, I like this. It's the ugliest thing. It looks like a beetle. Um, <laughs> the only problem is uh, this road is too close. So ideally, I would have wanted to have, you know, this road over here. So that if I do create an intersection, however, we might be able to f divert this issue. Ah, uh, you crap. I was thinking... So I want that intersection about in the center. I mean, there's a little bit of like a, a clog up happening there, but it might work out. And we want... So one thing I learned in between the episodes when I was doing all this stuff is you want your intersections far apart, like this far. And when you just have these straight roads like this, oh my God, things go so smoothly. And it's the moment you start having tons and tons of intersections where everything goes a mess. So, I'm, you know, like these, you don't want that. And I could probably fix this area again with another cul-de-sac. I could try that. I think this cul-de-sac technique is going to be okay. I like it. Um, I think it needs to be bigger. Because even even this, the um, the intersections, a little bit too um, close. Aha! Yeah, these these intersections are too close. So this, this cul-de-sac idea in theory would work in a much larger radius. So I don't know if fixing this is worth it at this point, considering the traffic isn't that bad. It's terrible here. Hmm. I think we made traffic worse here by, like, doing this. But as we start building around here, we're going to need to be able to manage that traffic. Um, now, we already have a three-way here, so we could compens We could technically modify this. You know, I've, I've learned to not be afraid of just, you know... Throwing everything out. Just deleting it all. And, uh... You know, that's a four-way. This intersection is far enough. You just don't want the uh, traffic backed up. And lights, lights will do that. So, this is a little bit better. Okay. I'm fine with this. Let's fill this stuff back in. Um, you know what? We could do small shops. Yes. Now, I kind of don't want to build shops on this little circle thing, because I don't want the trucks coming in there. Um, build some houses here, I don't really care. Hmm, maybe small houses.
Okay, where's that other traffic problem? It's a big problem here. Because they're stopping here. And these guys can't get off because of this. Um, how do you fix it? Uh, it's it's a brain bender, these things. Um, and if this was flowing straight into the main road. And straight up. That would stop them. That would probably help, wouldn't it? I'm thinking it would. Alright, we'll do the, the whole pause game thing. Um, it's time to rethink life in the city. We can rebuild it all. It is what it is. So, yeah, this is kind of, I mean, I said that, I was just saying earlier that uh, I didn't want to spend too much time fiddling in the episodes uh, because I want the next, well, I want to finish within, you know, ten more episodes or so. Uh, what am I looking for? Skytrain, monorail. And if I spend the whole episode fixing traffic, I could have done that off screen. However, I think it's part of the process and, you know, we don't want every episode to be this like, hey, like this, um, this perfect scenario where we're just laying road and filling. Uh, I try to I try to make each episode. You know, we're doing monuments or an airport. I try to do something interesting um, each episode. So this is something like new that we haven't really done in any of the episodes. So uh, I don't mind doing a little bit of it. But my goal for this episode was to really get that trash area in and uh, start thinking about expanding some more. But this needs to get done. And every time you move traffic in this game, it seems to cause other areas to spring up. Which makes sense, I guess. Now, well, these are kind of close together. I want space. Because if they do have to stop and, yeah, I want a good distance in between the on-ramp and the off-ramp and the crossroads. I could probably do that a little bit better. There's, let's, let's tighten this up as much as possible. So from about here to here, so oh no, that'll do. And this road is causing us problems. All right, goodbye. And then from here to here. That's a good amount of space. People get off here and come around here or here. I, I, w I really want this to be able to flow down here. But that is, that's causing us the jam up. So it is what it is. Hopefully that helps. I mean, they have the ability to get off here as well. And go up. So, I don't mind that. Now we just gotta make sure... Actually, you know what? If we have farms down here... Uh, that's not worth it. This little bit of farm is gonna have to do feel like we're wasting space. Mm. Better to waste space than cause tons of traffic. I think. This doesn't seem worth it either. Oh well. Bring it all back. All right. Um, does our industry go out to here? We could probably extend that just a bit. There's a high demand for industries, so might as well. And play. 
super fast forward. How's the traffic doing? Oh, we derped out here. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I think it'd be okay to connect this. Circular motions. It's okay. The roads are spaced up. We gave ourselves enough space. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's good. All right, let's see this traffic flow. So it's 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 kind of it just moved our problem over to here. <laughs> that's what I'm finding with this whole system is every time I move roads. It just pushes it somewhere else. Now it's causing it here and here. Well, I don't understand why. I like guess it's, it's not terrible here. There, the nice thing about this spot is there is a little bit of road in between. It's not so close like this is. Um, ideally, I'd want the same kind of system like that over here. It's not too bad. It's red for a bit and it clears up. I mean, it's not the worst thing. We do have traffic issues. But every city should have a little bit of traffic. I mean, they're not waiting for forever. Maybe it's a... It's, it's kind of bad. Everybody wants to turn... Uh, it's because of the one-way road. Isn't it? It might be. That's the whole. That's what people are saying that one way roads cause traffic. Now I understand. Give them choices and let it sort itself out. Now they're using more lanes because so they can turn left or right. Hmm. Still problematic, isn't it? Well, a building is on fire. That's great. Somebody needs water. <clears throat> Alright. Well, we kind of sorted out some traffic problems and just caused more traffic problems in other areas. Uh, <laughs> I haven't made the best decisions. Next city, I kind of know to space things out more. And use more of these circular things in big... Give yourself a big amount of space with the circular one-way roads. And, um, that definitely helps. This would have been okay. Uh, pr the problem really comes down to the spots that it's joined up to. And all the traffic that needs to come in and f to and from. So, I should have given more, like, a big road coming down here, a big road coming down here, and a big road coming down here. With few and little intersections in between. So they could just haul. And that way... If someone's going from here is going to hear from here, they have a nice route to go to. And same with the middle, and same with the left. Uh, we're kind of forcing everybody to take the center, and uh, that that's that's the problematic part. It's a little bit messy. I mean, I could delete it all and just repath it. That's the nice thing about this game is it'll all regrow. <laughs> it'll come back. I mean, I, I could delete as much as I wanted to, but there is something nice to be said about the messiness and, you know, it developed this way because of certain decisions you've made along the way, and it's organically happened. Um, and, and sometimes, you know, it, it wouldn't be as fun to see, like, a perfectly gridded city, um, you know? It's something crazy. It's, it's organized chaos.
That's what I call it. Anyways, we'll leave it for now. And uh, I think we need to give these people new places to drop off their garbage. So this is our opportunity to experiment with highways. So... Hmm. And we want one coming back this way. Darn it, how do I get that just right? Eh, that's alright. All right, how do we do this? I want to try the big circle. That's what I'm going for. And as I said before, every time we do a new little district, we try something new. <laughs> going into this area, I tried something new, and it completely failed. <laughs> and uh, so I know what not to do now. So now we uh, go back to the drawing board. And we try something new again. Trying the one-way circle. With a lot of space. Alright. <clears throat> now our now there's two ways we could do this. We could do the on-ramp and off ramps here. And I've I from my experience it's okay to do it like this. Like I was saying, I don't want that cross, but it's okay to do the cross when it's a one-way road. Especially if there's no intersection coming up right after it. Then the other way to do it would be to, I guess, extend it out to here, but that's too far. So if I had another road... Yeah, you know what? I'm going for it. We're doing this. That's my decision. Bam. And at least now we have uh, we have two flow points. So whether they want to get to here or here or here, they have uh, a route that's close closest to them. Come on. Why is it being that way? Uh, it's too steep, I guess. Good enough. Alright, now I just want to make sure that my intersections are far away. So we can do a regular road straight up the center. I don't care if it's one way or not. And then... From there I could grid the inside of it. So... I could probably get one more intersection in there without causing too much of a jam. I would imagine. Alright. I'm okay with that. Can't get under there. From here to here. I did it there. Feels like there's less room down here. Okay. I can do an intersection right through here. All right, hopefully the traffic in this new area is not too bad. Now, let's try a curve. It's not the worst thing. OK. 
Okay. Kind of ugly, but that's okay. <laughs> um, well, we can even tie it back around into this main area. I mean, we don't have any big roads crossing through, so I'm definitely going to have to fix that. Uh, I feel like tying it right into there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Reconsider life decisions. From here to here. Whoops, that's the wrong road. Then we upgrade. Yes. Can we actually... Ooh. Would you look at that? Oh, but our train... Oh, we might be able to tunnel it. My whole thought process here is trying to space out the roads as much as possible because every time I haven't given myself enough room it's caused severe problems so I th uh, is that one two three four that's okay so there's a lot of room in between intersections now this bar is like not the best I could probably do better I could even delete these little bits here so they have to come down that way but for the most part there's pretty good stretches in between each intersection now and I'm hoping that'll uh, drive the traffic a little bit better so we needed dumps let's see landfill I was hoping to get it in here okay well I wanted to get rid of those kind of anyways okay we'll just get rid of them we can get the landfill on the sides And we could do a lot. And we want these at the back. Because they're going to cause pollution. Not too bad. Tons of incinerators. <laughs> I mean, most... I mean, th this. there's going to be a big city here. I mean, we got lots growing here. We have stuff down here, so... We can't rely on this tiny little dump. And then where's the other one? This one over here. Yeah, this stuff is kind of managing this part of the city. This is managing a little bit of the city, but it's 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 not enough. It's a big problem. Um, I think we actually need to add more incinerators over here because it's saying, I think it's saying it's full. Ugh, we don't want to pollute those houses down there. Is this saying it's full? Can we empty it? I don't know where it empties to. I think you just need to be able to burn it. Hopefully they can transport it over here because we have lots lots of space down here now. Okay, I should have, I should have thought this out better. Um, straight lines. Okay. You know, after doing this whole Let's Play and like going into this game not really knowing things and um, reading all your guys' comments and stuff like that, well, I've learned so much that, you know, I'm, I haven't even finished this city and I'm already thinking about the next one. Um, but what's interesting is, you know, there's a little bit of charm to my mistakes. And I like it. And like I said, there's something nice about the organic mess the organized chaos and I know when I go into my next city I'm going to be trying to do 
too many, like, perfect little, uh, you know, I don't know. The clumsiness of this is kind of nice. It, it has this organic feel to it. And I don't want to go into my next city just being, like, perfect grids and, you know, having this very set way of doing things. But the nice thing about this game is, depending on the map you choose, it forces you to think creatively within those constraints. So I have to build on this hill, and it, it's not like you can use... Um, standard strategies when building on it and you have to you know so if I do play this game again I definitely want to try and seek out a map that's challenging in both height and you know uh, islands and stuff bridges uh, Riri Cove has been a lot of fun and I highly recommend this map I really do because it, it does have that challenge and a really good layout all right so the demand for industry is pretty high and uh, I don't think there's... Hmm. Since we have this incinerator down here, we pretty much want this area to be industry. I could probably get away with making this a little bit commercial. But we will have commercial branching out all the way down to here. Um, but whatever we end up putting down here, I think the, the gap between the pollution... Let's see the wind. How do you check wind? Yeah, we, we kind of... Kind of want to just build to about there. Hmm. I guess I could push it a little bit. We're just going to do inside the roads. And possibly... Well, this is still fertile land here. So we could actually stretch Joey land. You know what? We'll leave Joey land where it is. I know you guys like naming the zones. Every time I do a new zone, you guys uh, right away jump on naming it. So uh, well, I, I'll, I'll be doing a, another subscriber comments video in an episode or two. Maybe even after this. Who knows? Um, it just depends on when I do these recordings and if I get a chance to read your guys' comments and write them all down. So, this area is going to be another farmland, the Meadow District. So whoever wants to name that can go right ahead. No! Stop! This is not good. So whenever, if you don't zone it as farmland, they'll start building regular industrial. And if that happens, it can start polluting the ground. And I don't think you could take away the pollution in the ground. Okay. And could probably expand this just around there. So I need names for Evergreen District, which is industrial, like regular industrial. More farmlands. We got Briarwood Hills, which is our tourism. Um, Summit Hills, which is our leisure. And Taco King. Oh, no, that's named. Okay. And I did an episode already before this, so look, probably by the time I'm this video's out, someone's probably already named these in the comments. But if not, um, there you go. Covered them again. Okay, so how do uh, what do I want to do here? Farmland on that. We don't need anything special going on on here. All right. We could have. I don't know. You know what? I'm happy with this office area over here. We could maybe do some office in between. I do want more office, but let's fill this all in. How is this place getting power? It's not. It's, I'm curious to know why it didn't say out of power. Um, in terms of electricity, we're doing pretty good. I was figuring I was going to need to add some more electricity down here. Oh, should we do a nuclear power plant? That would be pretty awesome. Let's do it. I think we should do it. Right smack dab here. Um, 
maybe on the right side. Just put it away as far away as possible from this. Holy moly. How many megawatts is that? 640? Oh, wow. We got enough power to power three cities. That's the way to go. Now, hopefully we don't have, like, a nuclear meltdown. <laughs> I remember doing that in SimCity, and, like, w when you had a nuclear disaster, I don't know what caused it. I don't know if it was random or, like, if it didn't get enough water or something, it caused a... Because I know nuclear power plants require a lot of water. So maybe if it doesn't get water, it has, like, a meltdown. I don't, I don't really know what happens, but I remember in, like, the old SimCity games, uh, once in a while I had a, uh, a nuclear meltdown, and it was like, you could never recover from it. It was terrible. Like, it would, the whole city was ruined in that area, and you just had to, like, press on with, like, a dead spot in your city. It was the worst thing ever. Uh, speaking of which, we better keep an eye on our water, because the nuclear power plant uses a ton of water. What's interesting about the water in this game is um, it doesn't seem to, it doesn't, I, I, I figured you'd have to disperse them in a certain um, area. It'll just pump it, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Speak words, Johnny. Um, I figured it would, this, it would have a radius of how much, how far it can pump it. You, you know, you would think that you would need a, a water pumping station every so often. Or, you know, like, it, it pumps it from here all the way to the back of the city, which I find kind of interesting. I figure, figured I, it would have a fall-off. And it's kind, I kind of wish it did, because it would add that element of strategy, like, crap, I can't get water out here, and what do I got to do? I don't I don't know. Maybe there, there would be, like, a, a plant or something that you would have to do that, like, reroutes it. But I don't know how water systems work, so I don't know. I, re I think I just remember it being that way in, like, SimCity or something. Every once in a while, you had to add something in there. Okay, so we have power, and now we need industrial. Let's fill it in right around the power plant. Um, I guess we can have... Um, some parks in here so it gets high-tech industry probably wouldn't hurt yeah let's do some parks I like giving them basketball courts right next to the dump <laughs> there you go uh, Too big. Need small parks. This little guy. Any other small ones? Wait, what is this? Dog park. I don't think people bring their dogs to work. I guess if you work at EA Games, maybe. Um, that was a thing. When I used to work at EA Games, um, there was always some dog two feet away from you, uh, <laughs> no matter where you sat, there was a dog nearby. Look at that power plant! <laughs> that is cool. Alright, industry dropped. They want more commercial. Well, you know what? We are prepared for that. Sort of. We can just fill this area. Well, we have our planes coming in. I don't want them hitting high rises. So we'll just put some regular blue. That should drop the demand. Could use a little bit of green. We ran out of space. Hmm. Where's the next destination for housing? Up here. Aha. Oh, 
Is there going to be traffic problems? Have I set up terrible roads? I mean, I think the, like, okay, so all the traffic is going to flow to here. Is that good or bad? I think I might want to reconsider upgrading this. And... Come down here. They could, yeah, like, it's a far drive to the highway. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, they can come down... Yeah, how do they get to here? They gotta come down here to here and... Ugh. It's a mess. I need to de devise some sort of system that gets traffic from the highway up to here. Holy moly, you guys! I was so into this episode, it's been 45 minutes. I didn't... I, th I thought it was like 20 at most. I, I, this is gonna be a long episode, I guess. Uh, <laughs> all right, I think that's gonna do it. And you know what, guys? In the next episode, we're gonna we're gonna build our new um, residential area, and we'll figure out how to get the paths up there and stuff. This might still become forest industry, but we did this industry, so I don't know. Maybe I don't know what we're gonna do over there. I'll come up with some ideas. I'm excited to eventually be building out on this beach. So I've got a ton to do. I mean, uh, I don't know what episode this is. This is like 12, 12 or something, maybe 13. So, I mean, we came a long way in 13 episodes. I feel like we can finish this map. I mean, minus the islands. I feel like we can finish all this up in the next 10 episodes and still build out on here and make some cool bridges and stuff. We got this, guys. We will finish before Fortnite. So, there we go. We got a nuclear power plant in. We fixed our traffic a bunch. Not the best. We fixed it, though. We improved it, and that's what's important. Um, kind of feels like we have cancer running down the center of our city, though. Just this red line. But on the outskirts, it's, it's doing okay. I should probably delete this intersection as well. But you know what? My first city doesn't have to be perfect. I don't mind. It's it's okay. You know, uh, <laughs> I keep wanting to end the episode, but then I keep finding things to talk about. But uh, after experiencing building on Riri Cove, guys, I I kind of want to build on Riri Cove again. <laughs> Like, I want to do things cleaner, more open, wider, less, like, tight, and just a little bit looser and spread out a little more and kind of reconsider the way I do things. And um, it's a lot of fun, this map. I, it really is. So if you guys are watching and enjoying this series, I highly recommend you go follow the link down in the description. Give this map a go for yourself. Learn from my mistakes. Uh, try and give yourself a little bit more space and have fun with it because this map is certainly really awesome. It's just, uh, you know, it's my first go at this game in two years. And I, I, I wasn't even that good at it two years ago. So there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like, smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.